27. It was unbeaten in his first 15. And a very good amateur himself. Rather settled into life as a, a journeyman, but a strong one. Good start this from Cardle, though. Finding the shots and his rhythm early in the first round. Well, told him last night, he's, he's in good shape and he's been excited about being on this bill. Well, who wouldn't be? <laughs> no, it's, a, it's great for a young up-and-coming fighter just to be a part of a wonderful occasion. Just biting down on his gum shield already, Jot. He's a hard night's work for most of these young up-and-comers. 24, Scotty Cardell. Nice right hand and a shot again. Just rooted to the spot, act of defiance, but this is good work from Cardell. He's looking very impressive in this opening round. The jab's working excellent, leap to head and body, and that right hand put the punches together very crisply. And I think that was a genuine wobble. Certainly was. A face already reddened of shot and body too. Comes back with a left hook of his own. Joe Gallagher watching intently from the Cardell corner. As always, flicking out the jab and there's the swift movement as well from Cardell. Certainly he has quality. And a good first round from him. Busy night for Joe Gallagher, yes, whose stable is uh, absolutely flying, and a nice start from uh, this particular charge. Yes, yeah, just showing his variety there. The right hand, left hand, slipped it down under the, the right elbow, and there's that quick left, right, and the, the reaction. He's saying it was a slip, but it was two very crisp punches goes in there. Second of six, we're in the uh, lightweight division, nine stone nine. Scotty Cardell from Lytham Sedans. He weighed in at 9, 8, 12. And Christoph Jot, a little heavier, 9, 12, 13. The tough man from Poland. He's lost eight of 26. Cardell yet to taste defeat as a professional. Looking for his 13th straight win. Only a couple of stoppages on the slate not quite sure about his punch power yet but skills well he possesses them but my major ob observation of what he's doing Carl is he's not he's standing his ground more he's just taking little steps backwards and forwards where early on you know he was all over left to right in and out wasting far more energy and not planting his feet now looking much better okay turn over about a year and a half ago as Glenn saying in the early days, just trying things out, settling down to life away from the amateur ranks. He was a decent one as well. A different type of game, but everybody was saying he will make a, a really good professional. Hasn't quite had the flying start of a Luke Campbell and an Anthony Joshua, someone like that, but you never know, it might come. Well, he's certainly much improved over the last year and a half. And I like him much better when he plants his feet, bends the knees. You know, he's got good head movement, then comes back with nice sharp punches. Left hook partially getting through from Jot, just a reminder. He's been in with good men, but the speed and freshness all with Cardell, who just makes Jot look clumsy as he trundles forward. He's boxing the right type of fight here, Cardell. He certainly is. I mean, it's his sort of fight. He's got the center of the ring. He's just moving around when he needs to move. And using lots of head movement. I would still always, you know, I like the fighters to have their, their hands up a bit more than this. So I'll always criticize fighters that rely strictly on head movement. 
And reflexes the, the low left hand. <laughs> yep, the great fighters you find have them up. Your Sugar Rays, your Barreras, you know, they, they always like to keep their hands up. There's lots of movement there, so work rate excellent from Cardell. Here in September on the uh, Ricky Burns night up in Glasgow. Well, he was very lucky to get away with that draw. Gary Fox was uh, the opponent for Cardell. Fox decent, and he won over eight. Looks like he'll win over six tonight, we'll see. I'm liking the, the good work rate from Scotty Cardle. He's keeping the shots coming in from different angles. And he's keeping his hands going, head and body, up and down. Both hands as well, so it's good work. Very impressive. Nice start. There's Zot just covering up. Been around, knows what he's doing in there. Hands off high and Cardle very quick to see the gap. Ten seconds, Cardle. Black boots, black and green trunks of Scotty Cardle and the white and red of Christoph Jot from Poland. He's been around uh, as a pro since 2008. Yeah, but he fought in the World Championships, the European Championships as well, a few times. Very, very decent amateur, the 35-year-old. Hasn't quite worked out like that as a pro, but, but he's stubborn, isn't he? And strong, and he doesn't ever look like he's going very far. No, he doesn't. He's obviously a, a lot better when he was younger and probably very good amateur, as his record suggests, but he's getting older now. He's 35. Just up in the pace here, Scotty Cardle, who's had a, a nice start. Found his rhythm. Well, almost from the opening bell. This has been a pretty impressive Cardle. Maybe more so than some of his other earlier matches. And that right hand was crisp, sweet. And is there a bit of damage by the left eye? Of Jot. Well, he hasn't got statistics on his record. Don't show Cardle as a big puncher, but that's because early on he was using lots of movement. Feet were off the floor, so he wasn't getting power. Now, as he's getting experience and good work in the gym, good work in fights, now he's starting to stand his ground, put the pressure, put the, the weight on his feet, and get the power from the legs. Nose marked up of Jot. Body shots from Cardle. Joe Gallagher, Cardle's trainer, saying that you know, he's going to be one of these guys that comes along over the course of his career, not necessarily, you know, bounding his way on the scene early, but he'll make it British level and beyond, maybe. Well, he's in such a good division, isn't he, domestically? Through like Anthony Crawler and Derry Matthews, Gavin Reese, Mon Gavin. You know, it's a Ricky good Burns. competition, Ricky Burns at the top. So there's some great names to go for. Lots of good fights out there. Yep, one of the best divisions in British boxing, the Nine Stone Nine boys. Good matches to look forward to. 2014, 2015 for Cardle. And there's plenty of time, only 24. <laughs> There's that jab from the low stance. Just a, a tad open defensively at times. Yes, that would be the only criticism. Just sometimes lets his, his hands down. I mean, that's his style. That's how he throws his punches from low, waist height. Let's talk about fighting John Simpson tonight. That's Simpson for Tommy Coyle. So that didn't happen. Maybe for the future. There he is, just almost tattooing the head and body of 
Zolt with good punches. Very accurate, very quick. Chopping right hand there and then look to get punches off to the body. And I think that right hand is going to get better and better. He's going to get some stoppages as he goes along with that punch. Ten seconds, course. But there, the reminder, you've got to keep them up a little bit more. Seconds up, round four. Second half of the uh, latest instalment in Scotty Cardle's uh, fledgling career. And this is one of his better nights as he gets behind his jab. Christoph shot just hasn't looked comfortable at all. Nice little uppercut. There's uh, movement and variety. The occasional pot shot back from shot, but it's pretty much all being Cardle. Decent pace, decent skill set, good job so far. Right, step back, step back. Oh, <laughs> Just a bit tentative there, Jot, to come in, as though he knows the, the fast hands of Cardle are going to make him pay, and he goes to the body as well. Right, right, That's a good tactic, I think. Well, he's getting a bit of a job done on him, if I'm honest, Jot. And I think it's only because he's got that vast experience and he's tough and rugged that he's still in there because Cardinal has hit him with some good shots. Normally goes the distance, was stopped back in June 2011 by Felix Laura. Jot. I think Cardinal will be looking at getting the six rounds under his belt. And there's an argument, Glenn, that you learn more from the number of rounds you go, even if you don't get those early knockout wins, the, the drama of those. You, you know, you're learning in there, and Cardle's certainly doing that. He's he's notching up these sessions, isn't he? Well, learning is all about getting the, the right quality of opponent. And, you know, if you, if you can get against decent opponents, if you can get the knockout, that's good, but you you need to learn the game. You need to learn everything for for the time when you are at the top that you've got all the necessary skills left hook to the body ripped in by cardo and again and jot just wild with his own left hook can't work him out Just missed with the uppercut, Cardle. Right, step. No, Jot has no answers really to anything that Cardle does, and I think I can really pretty much count over the last four rounds that uh, there's only one shot, and when he made a little bit of mistake, made this two so far that Jot has landed with. More blood to the nose of Jot. That won't help his breathing one little bit. He's lost his last four. He hasn't won a round against the. Uh, British prospects Tyro Nurse and Chad Gaynor. So tough nights for him, painful ones in Britain, and this is another. It's all Cardle. Yes, had this been the amateur competition, I think Jot would have been stopped by the outclassed rule. He's so far behind. But Cardle's getting good work. He's still trying to make it competitive. So it's still a learning fight. Still gets to try new things. You're having a look in the corner. It's a pretty, pretty tough night here so far for Jot. And this one, not a problem at all in Joe Gallagher's. Lovely boxing, but don't get your head in the middle of the pocket. Just keep everything that distance. Bum, bum, bum. The right upper cut and then whip it round the side. Touch, touch, touch. Yes. Right hand. Yep. Right upper cut, hook round the sides of the body. Following the plan, Mr. Cardle. Last six minutes of this one. Cardle looking for his 13th win. No defeats yet on the slate. The popular man from Lytham St. Anne's, his parents from Glasgow. Christoph Jot 
Can he survive the distance? I suppose that's the only real question now, Glenn. Yes, I think Scotty Carl would really enjoy to get the, the stoppage. And I think if he just ups the tempo, if he just starting to throw barrages of punches, maybe he's pushed Zot against the ropes, that might give the referee excuse to, to pull him out of there. He is catching him so much, Cardle. Can he drive Jot back? That's probably the difficulty. He's just so strong, he's got that slight weight advantage, and if Cardle is lacking the, the real power too, that might become a problem later on as he moves up to, to British, maybe even European level, Glenn. Yes, it might. But certainly the skills are there as he's just exhibited on that occasion through a lovely combination. Yeah, I'd love to see him in with the likes of, of Crawler and Mitchell and good left hook to the body, Carl, maybe in a year's time or so. Sure, if you went along the Gallagher's gym, you'd probably see him in with Crawler quite a bit, wouldn't you? Absolutely, they do spar together. But of course, as we know in boxing, when matches get made, friendships sometimes go out of the window. But just an example, uh, you know, a good fighter showed an awful lot of Tommy Coyle, but one, one little slip, hands down, and Derry Matthews. You know, when you're in with experienced guys that can punch, that's where this style of Cardles could let him down. Tommy Coyle doing well after that win over John Simpson. Maybe Simpson is the sort of fight for, for Cardle. He needs to sort of step up, maybe to an eliminator status. They don't have to rush him because of his age, but also winning every single round. You, know, you, you need, you need maybe just to sort of go back to the corner, have to have a think, and how to, you know, rebuild yourself through a fight. That's important. The learning curve. Yeah, and and this is only his 13th fight. He's 24. You know, another another 18 months, two years of fights at this sort of level. Maybe slightly moving it up just to learn it all. The thing is, when you when you once you go for for titles of any sort, then it's then you're on the move, then you're on the ladder, and when you're on the ladder, you've got to be ready to keep stepping up. So you need to you need to have all the all the tools in your bag. Five nil. That's the truth. Cardle in total control. <laughs> There again, showing them lovely body shots he put in, puts in. Cardle just leads with the right hand just to get his his gauge, just to get the the distance right. There's nothing really coming back from Jot, so you can. You can do stuff unorthodox punches like that, leading with the right hand and then coming back with the left hook to the body. So he's under fire, John. Seconds up, the sixth and final round. Final round, Scotty Carter looking fresh as a daisy there. Maybe he could just step on it, finish the show well, won every single round here against the, the tough but outclassed Christoph Jot from Poland. And it might give him some confidence, not necessarily getting the stoppage, but, you know, possibly driving him back and you know, maybe even wobbling shot and you know, finishing on a real high here, Cardle. Well, you've got to try and make a statement. The thing about being on big bills is there's important people watching. Lots of good press. Promoters, matchmakers, you know, everybody's looking to see who, who you are, what you're doing, how good you're going to be. I remember some fighters, I was with one earlier in the week in, in Thomas McDonough over in the Collier St. Moss and Jim. I remember him sort of getting a really long unbeaten record, but he wasn't exciting. You know, he was he was difficult to watch him and, you know, you need to, to be entertaining the fans, selling the tickets as well. And He's got a pleasing style, Cardle, but has he got it all? Yeah, and also, I mean, just showing in this round, probably he's relaxed, no shot can't hurt him, but he's took three or four right hands that really, you know, at this level, fair enough, you can take them. When you move up, 
you're going to get in with somebody where one one mistake then that's you out of the game so what's he got to work on over the, the christmas period into 2014 to sort of set him up for maybe these eliminators and eventually a british title shot? i think he's just got to tighten things up a little bit he's already doing the right thing with the feet the feet are starting to work on that he's getting his balance he's not moving around as much so he's settling down now he's got to start just trying to tighten up the, the upper body he likes to use the reflexes he likes to you know have hands come from different angles but he's got to be ready for something coming back eddie hearns of course got a buzzing promotional stable now has he got to take a little chance with carl you know throw him in maybe yeah well, you know i think and he's a good promoter and knows what he has to do but you know being in a big stable he can't afford to have people just carrying around he's got to have you know the top of the fighters he's, every now and again you've got to thread them out and you know there's only the top ones can go on so he will test all of his fighters at a certain point a momentary respite there for uh shot the gum shield came out be very clean though there steve gray's not have to do a thing and it's been very very easy to score finishing nice and strong scotty carlo that's a good sign doesn't look like there's anything wrong with stamina certainly at this level I'm trying to throw the the punches this is good to see right at the back end yeah very good awful lots to leg in there you know it's excellent work at times an eight out of ten really just a few little defenses defensive lapses which you know he probably knows he can do that anyhow i'm sure he'd be tighter against a different opponent good night's work on a big bell scotty cardle and i think team gallagher will be very happy with those 18 minutes of boxing scotty is could have done a few more couldn't he we certainly could nothing wrong good finish just showing what he can do and um you know has reason to be pretty happy with that and as i say the only blemish is you know you i keep rattling on but you don't want to let anybody hit you once you've got to really have a good guard this will make him uh, unbeaten in 13 professional fights scotty cardell i'd like to see a step up early in 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, referee Steve Gray has scored this contest for shot 54 points for Cardinal 60 points. He's still undefeated from Lytham St. Anne's, Scotty Cardinal! Show your appreciation please for Christoph Schott.